Parents with a mom in labor forced to drive through snow and ice to get to the hospital, but they never made it. Instead, ending up in front of a fire station. Reporter Annie Kate from our partner station, WBND in South Bend, Indiana, with the story. I was probably about 6.30 in the morning. I texted my sister and I was like, dude, like something is wrong. <laughs> she was like, go to the hospital. Cassie Elkins was in labor early January 20th, but the hospital 10 minutes away from her Plymouth home closed down its delivery services last year. The next closest option, St. Joseph Hospital in Mishawaka, at least 45 minutes further. I was kind of in the middle of a, not really a big snowstorm, but it was very icy out and I'm doing like 80 miles an hour running red lights and I'm like, oh my gosh, we're going to get you there. So I was in active labor. Well, now we know it was active labor at that point. Against the clock, through the tears, screams and icy conditions, she knew she couldn't wait the final 10 minutes of the drive to the hospital. And we were at an intersection right before the fire station. He was like, I see the baby. I see the baby and I can feel her head because I'm sitting there, you know. So I'm pushing and I couldn't stop pushing. I just, it felt right. <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> but then he like goes over these little bumps and he's pulls into the fire station. This Mishawaka fire station on Union Street. Pulling the fire department, I'm honking the horn. Help, please help. <laughs> he runs inside the station looking for help. And by the time they came out, I already had pulled her out. So. <laughs> you actually pulled her out? Yeah. Yeah, she was sitting like I was holding her when they came out. First responders loading up the new mom and baby in an ambulance, finally finishing their journey to the hospital. Priscilla, one month old, is doing just fine. But the new parents are well aware so many things could have gone wrong that day. It's scary because you don't know how your baby's going to be born. You don't know if they're going to have a cord around their neck or if they're not going to be breathing. People have babies every single day. There's always babies being born. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.